I'm standing at the foot of Mill Road Bridge. Three words which are bound to strike. Uh, well, what's the word for being very fed up and annoyed and frustrated? That's the feeling that the words conjure in everybody, surely. So I've come over to basically witness and observe whatever happens tonight. It's about five minutes to seven. The contractors have just started turning up. We've got a little group of uh, protesters over here. I was just having a little chat with some of them. They told me how it kind of went last night. And uh, you've got some wardens or whatever they're called. Um, peace officers, observers no doubt. So it's, they're starting to gather. There's another contractor over there. They're just starting to arrive. So I'm just going to be watching the whole event unfold. I'm, I'm totally fascinated by this entire thing, really. I was, I was completely blown away by the fact that they protested on Monday and actually managed to stop it from happening two days in a row. Now this is the third day and I've finally managed to get down here myself so I can actually watch. And um, so I'm just kind of interested to see how it's going to go. Are the council going to come down very heavy? Whoops. I saw that, I saw that. I missed it. Um, anyway, I was just about to say, it doesn't really matter what I have to say, and other people start kicking off. There you go. So yeah, just interested to see what's going to happen about this. I shall carry on recording it as, uh, as events unfold. And here we have some real life people, human protesters. This is the before scene. Hello, everybody. Hello, sir. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. Hi, hi, hi. How do you think it's going to go? What are we expecting? Anybody want to? Anybody care to comment? Anybody? You look like you have something to say. No, sir. What are you expecting to happen here tonight? Uh, hopefully a peaceful protest. Yes. Yeah. Um, and actually blocking it, do you think? You will succeed for a third time in a row? It's quite well, we should see. Yeah? Yeah. And what, are you, what sort of uh, methods are you expecting compared to last night? Were you here on the first night and the second night? I was indeed. Uh, so did it kind of develop or was it the same uh, thing both times? It, uh, the, the police presence got he heavier. As yep. in more police officers on the, on the beat. Right. Uh, all good natured. Yeah. Uh, basically, we were warned to behave ourselves, which yeah. obviously we done. Yeah. And uh, yeah. All it, right. Uh, it's a peaceful protest. Yeah. But well, there you are. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see. Is anybody planning to sit on the ground? I've got a chair. You've got a chair. Yeah. It's very good. Come prepared. Come prepared. Anybody else? Yeah, I mean it's a commitment, isn't it? Once you're down, you're down. Well, that's if John brings some carpet over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what are we going to do next? What's the time? Time in. We've got 10 minutes. All right. We'll wait a little bit longer. Well, they're going to do the other side, aren't they? Is anybody over the other side? No. I think I'll have a little walk over. Okay. tonight mate nothing Doesn't want to talk. nothing he's deaf no, it's all right I just want I just wonder if somebody could like say what the basic plan no can you yeah exactly and can you tell me spending millions of pounds what improvement are you, excuse me are you right for a couple of quick words no he doesn't want to talk. it's understandable but I just wondered if, if there was any way that we could understand what their plan was. Like, where are they going to begin? How are they going to start? 
how they're expecting to deal with this situation. But they're not giving me anything, so we'll have to wait and see. We're gonna go over on that side. Getting closer and closer to the time now. They are getting suited up, so it looks like they're ready to start something. I was just having a chat with the guys over here. This section of pavement has been sprayed, you can see the lines. So this is the anticipated work point. This is where they're going to actually start digging into the road. And this uh, is where they plan to stand. See. Now they've been told and warned as of last night, any, uh, any interference with equipment or if they touch any barriers or cones or try to move them, uh, they'll be arrested straightforward as soon as that. So no touching, but it's interesting, it remains to be seen what they're actually going to do because last night the thing that's that sort of, uh, the thing that worked was if they just sat on the ground there. That's what Sheridan did. Just sat on the ground and didn't move and uh, everybody was basically resigned to it. And around nine o'clock, the work went left. So it's around, it's basically seven o'clock now. We've got workmen there with no equipment ready to go as yet. No police that I can see, except for these two, who aren't really going to take the police with the blue and they're there for like protests and peace obser observers. Um, but at the moment, no change. No change. We will keep our eye on it. There's two workmen walking down the road. There's one standing there. There's no sign of activity, really. Alright, so we've got some downtime, though, looks like. We're filled with anticipation, of course. But, uh, Alright, so it's not started yet. I just thought I would ask a few questions if anybody wants to talk into the camera onto to the to the to the folks. If anybody wants to explain why they think it's important. You're right with that? So why is it important to you to be here? Well for a kickoff the council haven't done the uh, right thing by waiting for the appointed amount of time before the closure. Um, yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah. I will say don't agree with the closure of the bridge yeah. because I live the other side of the bridge, mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. around Cambridge, yeah. driving tools, pick up, yeah. kits, materials. Yeah. Got customers in Tennyson Road, customers in Glisson, customers on um, Norfolk Street. It's going to just take me half an hour instead mm. of five minutes to get round. I can't cycle with what I've got, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to have to drive round a different way around yeah. town in more congestion, taking longer, yeah. causing more pollution. Don't agree yeah. with it. <laughs> Very good, thank you. And uh, well, I, I've. Um, what do you think about the? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss at the moment to come up with a question like this. Um, my interview skills, I've, I've, I have to brush them off a little bit. Um, with regard to the actual court case itself, yeah. um, do you feel like it's important to... I'm asking you a leading question, this is rubbish, sorry. I'm just going to stop this for a moment. Hello, there's another work van arriving now. They are turning up, but it seems like they're, uh, I don't know, reticent to actually engage or begin. Maybe they just, because they're on a contract, they have to turn up. But there's no police. Were you here yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. So there was 10 police officers. And at what time were they here? <coughs> they were here. They were hiding around the corner. From the beginning? Yeah, from the beginning. They were, they were doing their job. Yeah. They've been asked to be here. So but there here. aren't any that I can see here now. Yeah, but they're like peace observing officers, if you know what I mean. Like yeah, for well, whenever they have protests and things like that. They'll be around the corner. <laughs> yeah? They'll be somewhere. All right, they're here, interesting. They're here, to, they're, here to, they're, here to, they're here for safety, aren't they? Yeah, they're sure. They're here to make sure no one gets hit by a car. Yeah. And that's about it. All but right. these guys aren't, they're not idiots. No. It's a nice, it's a nice place. It's a nice place. All right. Shackles just told.
Because you can see the white lines. Yeah, there. so we've got actual seating now. We've got sitters on the pavement and I have it on good authority that when George sits down, he's not going to get up again. <laughs> They'll never manhandle this, this Scottish group. Let's see. <laughs> Looks like they're having a little team talk over there with, uh, amongst the workmen, discussing how they're going to do this, which I'm still completely uh, fascinated to work out how they're going to do it, or to watch how they're going to do this. What are they going to do? I am, I am just on the edge of my metaphorical seat. We have, we have, is it movement? No, he's just crossing over, just looking. But they are gathering, but it's, it's difficult to say what's going to happen. They're obviously preparing, but there's so much um, attention on this. I think this, I was told, this guy is from the BBC. So they've caught wind of the story. So, I mean, we just want to make sure, obviously, that everything stays above board. Hello, buddy. Will. That's right, yeah. Well, I'm Joseph with the BBC. That's all right. I'll come I'm, and have a chat with I'm you. I'm recording at the moment. Are you I'm okay fine. with that? Yeah, yeah, course, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. You I'm say Joseph? Joseph Hall, I'm with the BBC. All yeah. right, nice to meet you, Joseph. Nice to meet you too. Um, I left a few messages for Sharon, and I understand she's not very well. I heard. Well, oh, look, they've got the cones going over right, now. Right, yeah, bear with me, sorry. Right, okay, we've got action starting now. The cones are going. Are you rang mate? All right, so yeah. this is how they're going to do it. They're closing the road. And of course, the, the protesters have been told this time. Although, there aren't any police to make arrests, as far as I can see. But they've been told if they touch anything or move anything. No? Okay. Two minutes. There you go. Well, there you are. Let's see. He's saying these guys are stopping me from getting my work done. They're blocking me, so I can't get to it. I guess that's no. They didn't do anything. Wow. So he complained to those guys and they didn't do anything. Interesting. So this cone is now... Well, I guess they've let the traffic through from the other side now. Right. They're coming back for another go. Here we go. We're going to lift it off here. No. No. So close, Jeff. Thank you. He don't want to hurt us apparently. That's what he's saying. Very good. I really am being polite. You could at least show me the same person. No, I'm not. I just like to get on with the job that I'm paid to do. Yeah, we'd like to stand. Well, if you would like to do it, don't do it. Okay. Tom, take it off. Interesting. Take it off. And look, of course, you've got fewer traffic, this guy's not happy. I'm not in a temperate top, sir. I get paid no matter what. He said, I don't mind, I get paid no matter what. Which obviously is true. So to him, I suppose it's annoying, but at the end of the day, not the end of the world. Everyone's just watching and observing. Traffic's now passing back through. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, just to clarify in case anybody missed it, the article at issue of these barriers which these people are standing on or in front of. Right. Well that was phase one I would say, step one, or attempt number one. Let's see what happens next. It didn't seem like the guy was going to give much of a fight. But as he says, he obviously get paid anyway. Seriously, what's happening? And uh, you're not allowed to touch anybody or hurt anybody, of course. You've got to keep a distance and not 
Uh, oh, it's our stage. <laughs> the liaison didn't intervene. We've got them walking away. This guy's going back for another look. Yeah. They've gone, they're withdrawing. Wow. Well, I never. Sir, what's the plan? What, what's the plan for the next step, do you know? What's the plan? We have to wait and see. Yeah, we're all we're all guided by higher bodies. We tried to put it on. <laughs> Can't put it on. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So you didn't pay for any, won't you? <laughs> you didn't pay for any. We're living out, mate. Don't we? We're living out. <laughs> What's that? All right. Are you pleased to be here, Will? Well, I'm 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 glad I'm actually able to see it this time and not just hear about it. That was very frustrating. It's amazing. It's just uh, well, amazing. So it, yeah, how does it feel? Well, you feel so high. <laughs> it lasts for days. I, I bet it does. So you here on both days as well, yeah. Monday and Tuesday? Yeah. Well, and, and it's a push. I mean, they may come back, but it's such a pushover. They don't get these. Or well, I think, they... I think um, what I'm seeing is that they have to try, or at least show that they've tried. And then the, maybe the contract is fulfilled or something, and then they can turn around to the council yeah. and say we tried but it didn't work. I think tonight was really crucial. If there'd been fewer people tonight mm, of us, mm, mm. they might have prevailed, and they still might. But, but there's more people than yesterday, well, that's so that good. really demoralises them and the police. Mm, mm. So just quickly compare the scene today, where we are at, like quarter past seven, twenty past seven. You say that there's more people here and maybe it's demoralising the police. What was the atmosphere like at this time yesterday? It, um, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't as hopeful, I don't think. I think we felt slightly let down because fewer people were there on Tuesday compared to Monday. Mm. Um, but then we discovered, but then we realised what they were trying to do yesterday was to dig up that pavement, to narrow the pavement, put a new curb in. Sorry? And once Sheridan was down on the ground. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. They didn't say that was it, but it was sort of clear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were trying to work right round her and she was saying, don't you dare. Yeah. So just sort of figuring out what the rules are, what the rules of engagement, mm. as it were. But wow, yes, how yesterday we had proper police, um, about yeah. six or eight proper police, That's what I'm thinking. and they were nasty, uh, the, the liaison people are lovely, mm. um, but I, I don't think we've got the yellow coated police no, tonight. It doesn't, it, I, I haven't seen any, so unless they're hidden. Well, oh, fan <laughs> fantastic. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know your name. Yeah, you bloody well should too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Susie. You're Susie Williams? I am. Oh, Susie. Oh, nice to meet you finally, Susie. A rising star. Yes, very good. So do you want to then just quickly explain, you know, to people who might be watching why it's important to you? All of this, why you've been well, taking I'm not the sanctions. Yeah. Um, I used to live at Brookfield, but I now live in Cherry Hinton. I volunteer at Salvation Army Charity Shop, and like the other shops, I feel their takings will go down. Yeah. I believe some shops had a 30% fall in takings the other times yeah. the bridge has been closed. Yeah. And the shops are part of the green too. Yeah. Good, thank you. Susie, keep up the good work. Yes. Well, I'm not technically supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, keeping those DJ tracks spinning. Yeah? <laughs> I listen to your show, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. So, it would be fair to say that attempt number one, if it is number one, hello, didn't, didn't go down very well. Are you okay? Yes, I want to. I'm tell recording. You Is that all right? You want to no, tell us up? Yeah, fine. Yeah, I can start dodging as you're recording. Yeah, let's all do a three-way. Oh, what? 
I haven't, heard that. I haven't heard that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, when's a good time to grab a, a any few time, any time. As long as you're right with me actually recording. Well, of course while I, I am, with, absolutely. Yeah. But I do we get... have to step away or? It would be good to look. Basically, I, can't, I cover TV, radio, and online. Yeah. So if I can get a nice clip with you, right. um, but probably not filming, no, I'm no, happy no. to be filmed. That's fine. Right. Yeah. I'll get you on look east tomorrow morning, so we can get. All right. I'm going to get in trouble because the Sheridan. Sorry. I did try and get in touch with Sheridan earlier. Yeah. I know Sheridan's not very well. Yeah. Well. But it's up yeah, to you how much coverage you want, but I, I'll get something online overnight. I'll get yeah. it on TV tomorrow morning if we can get a quick clip now. That'd be cool. But I'm also putting a wider piece together for radio, and it might get on Radio 2, Radio 4, so yeah. I cover these three. I can't. All right. Can't promise, but. If yeah, you give well, me, I, can give give me a, I can give you a little lowdown about the background and things like that and why this has all come about and where. Yeah, I mean, from. I know most. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm born here, born in yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm a Romsey Tower. Yeah. And I love what you're doing. I think mean, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly you. ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's, it is totally mad. I mean, like, I've stopped and just, like, reflected it sometimes and just like, is this happening? You know what I mean? Like, how has it come to, <laughs> come to this? Well, you know how it's come to it. It's. Um, it's very middle class councillors who live on Hills Road and who live on yeah. uh, 6 million central government funders. Well, 4.2, 4. but 4. I mean, they, they, that, there's that aspect as well. So the active travel, uh, you know, agenda um, being kind of put over all, all, uh, all over the country, really. But then did you read about the, the money that came from Department of Transport and yeah. saying that you also have to commit to closing the bridge as part of this deal? Yes. Yeah. Which, which makes it extremely questionable. Look, I'll tell you know. what, let's have a quick chat, if now's a good time. Yeah, now's fine, yeah. Um, if it. anything happens, we'll break, because yes, I'm of course. to cover the event. Um, I will start off just getting some audio for radio, and then I'll sure, get a quick sure, clip sure. For, for TV. Well, yeah? Let's go and stand. So. All right. I'm about to be interviewed. Yeah. No, 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 it's sure. alright, yeah, because I can, you carry, you carry on. it's the first person in it. Um, go on then. <laughs> go on then. Let's see how you do it, Joseph. How do the pros do it? I don't know about that. <laughs> I've been 24 years at the BBC. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm leaving in three months' time. Oh, really? What's yeah. that? I don't agree with what the BBC stands for anymore. Fair enough, fair play, fair play. I was in Panorama for years, real story, inside out. Mm. But we did investigative journalism. Yeah. Now we're uh, yeah. we're uh, battery chickens. Quantity, yeah. not mouth, quality. All piece. online based. Yeah. Get stuff out. Re press releases. No journalism. Wow. So I'm gone. Well, that's a big, that's a big time shame. I have to say, very, 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 very uh, sort of sad to hear that the BBC's doing that or going yeah. through that change. Things have to change, but we are very reactionary. We're not proactive. We don't have the confidence to be proactive anymore. Right? All right. You know, that's why I joined. All right. Okay. Let's off, do it. Off to Al Jazeera. And, right. An impartial interview for the BBC. Radio. Yeah. So start off. Tell me your name and spell your name and who you're representing. Uh, Will. W I L L. Uh, who so I'm representing. Uh, Banel. B A N N E L L. Who I'm representing. I'm only here as myself. I'm, uh, I'm a journalist and I have an output called Cambridge Cracker. Uh, that is a website and also a YouTube uh, channel, which this is going to go on. So tell us who's here this evening. Well, over here, you've got a group of protesters who are uh, trying to block the roads. When I say trying, um, not block the roads, sorry, block the works for commencing. When I say trying, they succeeding so far. Uh, over on this side, there's another group who are stopping this uh, barrier from being accessed by the workmen. Got a couple of police over there for peace. Peace warnings, yeah. And the workmen over there sitting in their van, unable to actually do the work that they've been asked to do. If we refer to these people as protesters, I'd say 60 odd. Age, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah, right, this yeah, is serious. Sorry, though. sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, well, well, yeah. Look, take a, take a handful over there. You got maybe 10, 20, 30. What I'm going to say is, I'm not I'm not trying to beef it up, but there was, and I'm, yeah. I think it would be probably wise to show the solidarity. Oh, support, there's is so many. So let me ask it. you that again. Okay. Um, both sides of the road in the mm. last 10 minutes uh, yeah. people have been successful in stopping the barriers from being put up mill yep. road is once again open as our listeners may hear so far so good and quite a turnout yeah there's uh, maybe 50 or 60 people here and they're all in high spirits they're all uh, you know committed to keeping the bridge open they don't believe in what the council is doing especially speed running or fast tracking these works ahead of the judicial review 
which is supposed to be happening. Um, the papers of that are going to be filed by the end of next week. And so that's why, why a lot of people are so upset by the work starting now. Or well, they're trying to start the works now because there's supposed to be a, a court case happening later on. The expression I've heard repeatedly is via, via the back door. Uh, Getting the work done well, via the back door. Yeah, it's a little bit like that. More like ramming it through the front door, if you don't mind me saying. Um, because it's quite blatant and we've put such a lot of attention on, on the whole situation. It's become um, quite shocking, actually, some of, the, some of the ways that the council have commenced this whole thing brazen you, you should say what are you what do you object to in the first place what do you object to about a bus gate uh well what are the nuts and bolts i suppose putting a bus gate on this particular bridge i found uh just baffling from the beginning when i first heard about it i was like why would you want to do that um because of all the the problems that it would cause with the rest of traffic and the, the ability of people to move around it's one of three crossings over the railway line in the city so you cut this one off people have got no choice but to go over to the other two which obviously uh, increases congestion and noise and pollution and all that stuff which is one of the things they're supposedly trying to stop um, on a personal level you know i got involved with this thing wanting to know genuinely about it and by asking questions and, and sort of going on the journey of trying to find out I came up against a lot of um, you know resistance and opposition people didn't really want me to actually find out and, and then started attacking me online and things like that which obviously just makes you want to learn more about it um, councillors don't answer questions generally I, I asked uh, Dave Bajan and Neil Shaler for about a month could you explain what this is all about? And they just ignored me. And that's when I made my first video. We keep coming back to the political side of it, and I yeah. understand why. Once again, nuts and bolts is the expression I used before. Yeah. Would you not like to see a less polluted, less trafficked mill road? Um, well, no, because of everything else that it in, that would entail, <laughs> if you get me. Go on. It would be lovely if you could have that, but the reality is, is that traffic's just going to be diverted down Devonshire Road, this road right here, and Tennyson Road, and on the other side there's going to be no way out other than, you know, Coleridge Road and these other roads where people complained before, when it was closed in 2019, that that is what happened, it made the road made driving around here intolerable. And so, yes, the premise of reducing traffic is nice on the surface, but actually, how's that going to happen? What's, what's really going to happen? And most people can sort of think that through themselves so just wrap it up for us if you would mm. uh, the next stage is that they're trying to start the works now yep. uh, you and your fellow colleagues protesters whatever you want to refer yeah. to yourselves as well I'm not actually here as a protester you no, must, you must right. be, okay. be clear about all that right. well, look, I'm observing the, as a journalist let me rephrase that yeah. so this evening's protesters have once again been successful in stopping any work starting yep. what's the time frame of the next week's well, uh, well what, what lays ahead in the next I don't actually be? know, to be honest with you, because uh, I think that today was a bit of a, a crossroads for the council, like which way was this going to go? One of the uh, protesters told me that there's more people here tonight than there were last night, and if it was the other way around, maybe the council would have felt a bit emboldened to press ahead, but actually they might be feeling reluctant to actually embark on this now, because their only excuse is that they've put the works order in, and therefore they must start the work. But the opposite is actually, you've got a court case to challenge, to defend, so why don't you just defend the court case, and then you can start the works. Like retrospective building, planning, yeah, it's, it's, planning permission, yeah, etc. That's, that's, uh, it's perturbing, you know? It, it gets people in their gizzard. I don't know if you would put that well, one there, there on the radio. There, there's my quote. <laughs> um, a second. Bugger off, John. He's not online. Bloody John Welsh. John. Hello. You, How are you? Well, I was right in the middle of getting a fucking Uber act, wasn't I? For look east until you phoned your <laughs> bastard on this phone. <laughs> you, you've got plenty, plenty of material, mate. I will file some stuff and give you a shout when I'm done here. Just... Make sure you cut it up and make me sound really bad. I will edit it. <laughs> yeah, of course you will. Have you got any 
many pictures you've been Yes, I've got, I've got loads, but John, I'm a one-man band at the moment doing TV, radio and online. So um, I'm, I literally turned up. There's lots of I'm sure here. this guy... 60 odd people. Um, um, they have successfully stopped the road from being closed this evening, the third night in the road. The council are drive, driving off now. I want to go and get some pictures. Yeah, it does seem like um, they're actually so leaving. Like I'll, I'll, so I'll during, go through it all with you and during file the everything time and I was over just you, talking right? to uh, Joseph, there seems like a lot of the workmen actually got in the van and drove off. So it doesn't look like, dare I say it, doesn't look like the works are actually going to happen tonight after all. Are going to happen? No, I don't think so. No. It doesn't look no. like it at all, does it? No. Well, there you go. How interesting. Um, I'm going to get a clip of you for TV in a second. Oh, damn. That's all right, let me say. So, how is it going over on this side? Hey, it's going very well, nice. Yeah, yeah nice to meet you. You're the Cambridge Cracker. It's nice to see you in person. I love Thank your you. videos. It's, Thank you very much. It's going nice. I'm not here long, but it's very comfortable sitting over here. Good. And it's another beautiful, our third our third night on Mill Road. You were here yesterday and Monday, were you? I was here you? yesterday and Monday. I've made so many new friends. Perfect. What's your name, madam? My name is Anne. Anne, nice to meet you, Anne. Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, so, just, uh, you, we've seen dare I say it the the workmen have gone I mean maybe they'll be back but how does this compare to your experience last night and the night before what happened tonight well there was uh, more more plastic fencing out last last night I got here after seven same same time as this and uh, yeah uh, if there's more people now in favor of keeping the road open that have come out tonight and uh, it's it feels more relaxed mm -hmm. it's a little bit tense last last night uh, but it, it, uh, it soon calmed down, yep. and um, I think uh, everybody behaved behaved well. Yep. You know, the police and the and the workmen and our and ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, there's a lot of strong feeling. Yeah. Um, but it is fantastic to have the road open. Unlike yeah. Monday and Tuesday, when uh, they were putting fences, taking fences, letting cars into the flats. Uh, it's much safer now, actually, that the road is open as yeah. as normal. Mm. It's funny that, isn't it? Yeah, it's just yeah. it was fine. It is fine the way it is. Yeah. Just keep it. Who would, I mean, have, who would have thought? Who would have thought that blocking a road would cause problems? Well, I could see it coming, yeah. uh, and many, many around me. But uh, some people they have to actually see it happen before they before they get the idea that it's it's a bit dangerous to obstruct the road yeah. temporarily or permanently. Well, I mean, also seeing I think that seeing people do it and then succeed. For example, Sheridan last night oh, obviously Sheridan gives you the been, confidence to come absolutely. and do it again. That lady's um, leadership is amazing, and her her hope. And her, yes, her confidence is—it's—it's um, it's catching. I was—I you know? was very impressed by Sheridan myself. Um, she's not here, unfortunately. Do you think that she got a frozen bum, <laughs> and she's having to recover? Uh, I don't think a frozen bum would stop her. No, uh, <laughs> no, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. So, do you mind if I just round off on this sort of this question? What what would uh, satisfy you that this wasn't going to happen again? Are you going to come again tomorrow? Absolutely. And, and yeah. when will you actually decide not to come out and make a stand? When I guess the legal process is done and I, I hear tell that it's been quashed now and there won't be any more workmen. No, no well, this is, this is the thing. The first TRO uh, was quashed in the summer, but then they've gone and pushed ahead with the second one again in exactly the same basic yeah. premise with a different wording. Um, and then they've obviously scheduled the works to happen before the legal paperwork was able to be processed yeah, on, that, in time. That, that, is, that is naughty. Yeah, that, well, that's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think that well, that's what everybody thinks. I've seen their sign, it's scheduled uh, for this week and for next week. It was supposed to be a two week job. Yeah, yeah. so I will be here with the others uh, every, every night that is, that's necessary. Incredible, amazing. Yeah, wow. thank you. No, thank you, Anne. Uh, keep yes, it up. Willsy. <laughs> Willsy. I haven't Just heard that Wils. one before. You can have Willsy if you want, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, it is Will. Yeah. Nice, to, nice to meet you, Thank Wils. you, Anne. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I mean, there you go. So this is the dog then, the famous dog, Five Men and a Dog. Five Men and a Dog. Although I do have to tell you, 
My name's Roy Stam, yeah. and I do have to tell you, I'm not actually affiliated to any group or anything. I'm here because I actually believe in Milro Stadium. Yeah, and you you live just over the bridge that way, don't you? Just over the bridge. I mean, I live in Romsey. I live in Romsey Terrace. So yep. That's why. And uh, for me to come from one side of the bridge to the other, I have to go to the station twice a week to yeah. take, take my grandson to the mm. station. And I'd have to go all the way around. Yeah. You know, where it's just so easy to come out there. But Roy, why can't your grandson ride a bike to the station? No, no, because he's got dyspraxia. Oh. He can't ride a bike, and he's 22, mm. so, so he's got a disability. We've got an ambulance, I don't think it's associated with this, they're moving on. Yeah, he's got a disability, so he needs to be to take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it would, it would be just all the things. What I can't understand is why they're kicking on it. <laughs> I, this, this, the actual root cause of all of this is still a mystery to me. I've been looking into it for nearly two years. I haven't been able to find the genesis. I mean, there's a lot of money involved, certainly, and, and a lot of questions that remain unanswered. But, uh, I mean, uh, I've lived in Cambridge, well, I've lived in Romsey for 59 years. Yeah. So, and, uh, and uh, I mean, I was the founder yeah. of Euro with the Fair, so don't tell me I don't like Romsey. <laughs> yeah. But that a lot of people are coming out and saying, well, you know, you, you, you just... Uh, you, well, could, just you might say that you were uh, part of the old Romsey. Yeah, part of the old Romsey. Yeah. So, you know, the old kids, they don't really get any change. Yeah. But actually, I am... Race change. I love change. Yeah. You know, it, like this. Change for the good. Yeah. This amazing scooter. Mobility scooter. And an, uh, a dog that is an assistant dog. So, right. so, you know, I do embrace change. But to close Mill Road Bridge, I, I sometimes ride down the centre of the road. I shouldn't on my mobility scooter 11 o'clock during the day. And it just proves that there's no traffic. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem as bad as, as they've always made it out to be. My personal experience is that it gets congested. Tested, you know, temporarily during rush hour, and then the rest of the time it's fairly easy going. Um, from a, somebody who's lived here for such a long time, what's your experience of what traffic used to be like, like a decade ago or two? I heard other people say that it used to be a lot worse than it is now. I don't think that traffic has really changed much. No. You know, I mean, cars, everybody's preferred transport, even though other people might tell you that they think it's much healthier to walk and bike. Mm -hmm. Well, it is much healthier to walk and bike, but you know, if you've got to go a distance, yeah. <laughs> then you need your car. Um, and actually, Mill Road Bridge is needed more for people outside Romsey and Beatsville yeah. than it is actually for people in Beatsville and Romsey. Because people in Petersville and Romsey can walk to where they want to go. If they want to shop, go to the cafe mm. or anywhere mm. on the road, it's simple for them. Yeah. But if you live in somewhere like Shelford and you've, Careful got, to now, in, right? and you've got to come in to Cambridge, you need a car. Yeah, but you know that the people of Shelford don't get a say in this. No, well, that's just not right. <laughs> because this, uh, this is a bridge. And I looked in the Oxford English Dictionary and it says a bridge is go from one point to another. So why close it? Yeah. I really can't understand why they're picking on mill ropes. Thanks Roy. <laughs> Hello there. May I steal this man for a moment? You can certainly can. I won't keep him long I'm afraid. Um, turn turn him uh, that way. Yeah, yeah perfect. Can you look at me rather than yeah, that? Yeah. That was great. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, that will do me. Um, I'm being. Are you going to record the recording of the good. interview? You, you want some light? You can take a bit. Of yeah, that'd be great. I mean, I've, I've got some light on the video here. But... Yeah, yeah. So look, just looking straight at me, if you yeah. would, or at the camera. Yeah. Um, first of all, tell me your name and spell your name slowly, if you would. Will Bennell. Will W I L L. B A N N E L L. Okay, well, I'm going to have to ask you to be much louder cause to, pick, to pick this up. Uh, so, so, no, that's fine. Yeah. I, I got that. Though. I'm Will Bunnell, and my name is spelt W I L L B A N N E L L. Great. Um, I'm trying to get the, the bridge into the background. Right, yeah. so looking straight at me, Will, what are people protesting about tonight? People are protesting tonight for. The, to stop the work starting to close Mill Road Bridge. The workmen were supposed to start to dig into the ground here to 
narrow this pavement and put in the central island. But of course, the works which are due to commence were scheduled before the date that legal papers were able to be filed. And so people have been upset by the council's apparent attempt to speed run this process. Actually, what they want to see is the council defend the challenge in court. Once third night in a row, third night in a row of the, of the works not going ahead. What's the reaction to that? Well, I find it. I, just, I find it genuinely amazing. I wasn't here last night or the night before, but I saw pictures of it and heard people talking about it. Um, the the people of the, some of these live here in Mill Road. Some people have come from further afield. But the late the main lady, her name was uh, Sheridan James, who kind of led this charge, as it were. She sat down in the road, and the workmen couldn't do anything about it. And uh, she just sat there, and everyone was happy. And she had a cup of tea, and they were talking and laughing. And uh, eventually, the, uh, the workmen got to the point when they couldn't actually do the work, couldn't do the job, packed up their equipment and left. That's basically the same as what happened on the first night and the second night. And I watched this one this night. The workmen made a small effort to start the works. They came along and attempted to move these barriers. The protesters said, no, you can't move them. And um, so some cyclists nearly got hit by a car there. Um, and uh, they said, OK, fine, we can't do the work. So they packed up the stuff, had a little chat over so there. I've got last clip again. I can't, I can't run you laughing about someone nearly getting hit by a car. Why? It's just that's not, not very BBC. Uh, just, just in a nutshell, just, yeah. just real okay, quick. Sorry, I'm, I'm not very good at, you know, no, you're I'm not doing good great. at speaking Look, it's in not for me to segment. tell you what to say. I really appreciate All what right. you're saying. Um, <laughs> ideally, 20 second nutshell. Okay. Your reaction to three nights in a row, the work not going ahead. Um, the <laughs> three nights, I can't do it. Um, I find it amazing that these people have managed to stop this work. They, it's, they've got such courage and such enthusiasm and such passion and uh, it's, it's all been peaceful and jovial and they've actually succeeded in stopping the work from taking place. And how do you feel about that? Uh, I just think it's incredible. I think it's amazing. I, it, to me, when I read the news about it on Tuesday morning that they'd actually succeeded, I thought it was a miracle because I thought that, that the, uh, the, the council were going to go ahead and dig into the road and then it was all going to be done and dusted and there wasn't anything that any, anybody could do about it. But the people actually rose up and made a stand, which is, uh, I think, inspirational, because it's what democracy is made of at the end of the day, isn't it? Standing up to the oppressor and all that. Yeah, I've used that last bit. Perfect, mate, that's exactly what I was after. Thank you, good man. Thank you. <laughs> it was you the best answer and anyone ah someone did. He did, I just saw it. I just I saw it over I, your shoulder. I was like, hang on a second. I don't think I can get that past my head. Did you get that bit? Did you, you got that <laughs> bit, didn't you? Thank you for coming. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for coming. No, thanks mate. Um I want to get that lot. You wanna do it as well? Do you? Do like, it's more because I want to add I already had a chance with light, appreciate it. That's alright. Help out where I can. Yeah, Alright, go on then. Um, do you want to stay here or should we move over there? Or what? Stay in, Look at that, so I'm a, video, I'm a video journalist. I normally, I've got a film crew with me where I go. I was going to say, like, you, should, you could have borrowed my mic and everything if you wanted to. No, I've, well, look, to be honest, the quality of that now. It's all yeah, you it's need, like, isn't it, really? Um, it is ridiculous. Like, the phones are wicked these days. It is ridiculously yeah. good. Mm. Yeah. You look like David Hay. David Hay? Boxer. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I haven't heard that one before. Bit, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> when he was a cruiserweight. Yeah. All right. There you go. Right. Good. Jens, thank you. All right, job Really done. appreciate it. Good to meet you. Yeah. Um, so I'm Joseph Hall. That's how my that, name's spelled. Yeah. You can email me joseph.hall. Yeah. If you need me for anything. Joseph.hall at bbc.co.uk. BBC. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, nice one. I would very much like to see your books on stage. That'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Keep on a good work. As a familiar face walks in from the darkness. Indeed, indeed. What's, Lovely to what's, see you again. What's happened is it's... it's they basically succeeded. Yeah, great. Third night in a row, knocked the works back. Yeah. yeah. I, I came along last night, and obviously, you know, sort of saw it proceed mm. and what, well, oh, yeah, seen the various here. posts and what have you. Well, Can you you'll be him? able to see this there video There he is. Now. I brought this... I'm, it's Emma. I'm recording, by the way. Oh, hi, Emma. Hello there. All good stuff. Hey, I don't know how this sits with your uh, not wanting to be seen as associated with it, but I just did an interview for the BBC. It's going to be on the TV tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. Absolutely great. Go on then, mate. Man, I'm sure the listeners have a little chat this because way. no one else wants to talk. Yeah, no, fair enough. I mean, it is a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah, um, I just felt I must have turned this light down a little yeah. bit. 
I mean, you yeah. get you get the feeling for what it's like now. Like, yeah, I feel, I feel like in Cambridge, so many people are wary, and or they just don't, like, they don't want to. It's, it? it's pretty bright. Let me turn it down. Actually, I don't need it on to be honest. Turn it down. Yeah, he's going to give me an interview, and I'm going to record him while he interviews me. We're going to do a, a duo, basically Duolingo, <laughs> but only in English. Yeah. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. There's a good vibe here. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, I was. Uh... Oops! Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Dog's got too close. Dog's got too close. Um, yeah, anyway, go on then. Right then. Yes. I am here with. Will, Cambridge Cracker. Cambridge Cracker. So, what brought you down here today? Cambridge Crackle. Um, <laughs> Well, I came down here to watch the proceedings. I was very fascinated to see how it was going to go. I'd heard about it from Monday night and Tuesday night. It wasn't here last night or the night before, but I was very keen to come down and see it for myself and also make a video of the event so that the whole thing can be put out. I get very frustrated when, you know, videos and things are not sort of transmuting through the social media. Things get deleted or lost. and. So I just thought I've got to come down here and see it for myself, you know. Are you local to Cambridge? Uh, yeah, I live in Great Shelford. Um, I am from St Ives originally, but I've always worked here in Cambridge since I was 15 and uh, moved into Shelford eight years ago, 2016, uh, so I could be closer to work basically. What do you think of the vibe and the overall protest? What is your take? From what's happened here, I know you weren't here the first two nights. You heard about it and everything else, but what is your take from what's what's happened here today? Uh, well, I mean, the vibe and things is is very is very good. It's uplifting. It's uh, it's it's positive. You know what I mean? It feels good. Um, I've been to protests before that were just leery, you know, and this one is not like that, which I'm very very pleased about. And uh, there was a, a really short amount of action where the workers tried to start and then these guys didn't let them get to their equipment and they put up no fight whatsoever. They just said, okay, threw up their hands and then left, which is uh, quite amazing actually. Any messages or any like words of encouragement to the people? You know? Well, I was, uh, I was encouraged because as I said, I was um, part of the team who put together the legal challenge and because the, uh, the council started these works so quickly, we weren't able to actually get the paperwork in on time because it takes a certain amount of time to file papers, you know, you have to give it two weeks and then get a response. And we were really trying to get an injunction to make them stop these works, but we had to accept that it was actually impossible for us to do that. And uh, that was very disappointing. So by Sunday, I sort of resigned myself to the fact that the council were going to do this. And then I heard that there was this protest coming along, uh, and then I just thought, oh God, you know, I don't like the sound of it. And um, But then on Monday, uh, Tuesday morning, I saw the pictures and heard the, you know, what people had done, and they'd actually succeeded in pushing it back. It, to me, it means that it's the power of the people, you know, it still resides. So if the courts of law can't stop the council, I was thinking, what are we going to do? But the people just came up spontaneously and actually put themselves in front of the workmen, and the police were there watching, and that was okay. It was allowed, and that's happened three days in a row. So the power of the people has almost been reinstated. If you get me, that's, that's that's how I interpret it. It's so, amazing. So like. I've, I've, I've been here for the last few days. I've spoken to lots of people walking past. Some don't even know what's going on. No. So if you yeah. were coming from the outside, like you wanted to explain to someone who hasn't got a clue what's going on, mm. in a short sort of 30 second, you know, tell them what's yeah. actually happening here. Well, first of all, I say I can't explain it in 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> let's go to the, let's go do, to the do, pub and have do, a sit do, down. Do the best you can. All right, so, so the council have tried uh, sort of repeatedly to close this bridge that we're standing in front of. Some people want it closed for uh, various reasons like road safety and environmental improvement and things like that. The evidence for all of that is dubious and the knock-on effects or side effects of closing the bridge, as it were, would be worse, cause more problems than it would solve. And the community is divided over it. I'm adamant, I'm sure that they're not, I know I've gone over 30 seconds by no, that's fine, sorry. Carol, so nice. the community are split, but it's not 50-50, I'm sure it's not 50-50. There's a, there's a, a certain class or, or, you know, section of society who feel very strongly that it should close. 
but they don't seem to care or listen to all the people saying, well, that's going to really affect us, actually. It's going to so harm you, us. Would you say it's not exactly democratic? It's, um, because I keep hearing this democratic vote. I am not it because I haven't heard it, but no. would you say that it's not actually representative of the whole No, community? there's a problem, really, because when you use a consultation, it's not a, it's not a vote like an election or a mm. referendum. So they can just put out an advert in the paper and say, we're having a consultation. And then all the people who are ready for it or aware of it will fill it in and everybody who wasn't aware of it didn't get a chance to have a say. And so when the first consultation happened, right, actually it was like the second or third consultation, we only had about 2,000 respondents. Okay. Out of the whole of Romsey and Petersburg, which has a population of nearly 20,000, 15,000, 20,000 people, if not, and 2,000 people responded to the, to the uh, consultation. So there is a problem when they try to claim that it's, this is democratic. It's, it's obviously not, um, really, because they have an advantage. You know what I mean? Like, you can put the consultation out, and all the campaigners and their friends, and everyone who's already informed about it, are ready. They fill the consultation in, but everybody else is none the wiser, so it's not really fair. So, all of the claims that this is democratically done, I make. So, the actual workmen haven't gone completely. They're there gathering again for another little conflag. My battery's about to die, so I hope that someone does it for a minute. I'm just going to see if I get the other one with me. If I don't, I'm going to have to leave this video here, alright? And apologise for my unprofessional. Uh, lack of preparedness to bring a spare battery. But let's hope I have a second one in my bag. If not, that'll be over. Let's just have a... Uh, Susie, let's have a quick update on what's been going on. Where are we? Ten past eight now? Are we? Yes. Um, and men are completely um, dejected on the phone. Yeah. I'm hardly here yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> Wandering around. Um, we're completely relaxed. It's completely different from yesterday. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, they're not going to try anything on unless they're very good actors. Maybe they're waiting to uh, build a false sense of security, l lull you into. Uh... No, they didn't do that yesterday. No. Uh... Wow. Interesting. Sorry. That's all right. I'm going to chat to some of these guys over here. <laughs> They're still over there. I think they have to wait a certain amount of time. Let's see. Hello, do you want to talk on the camera? Um, I want to talk to you actually because you know so much about all this. Did you do the podcast? Didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you mind talking to me? I don't at all, no. Because I, well, I can there you talk go. to you. Did you, we met before? Have it might we? have been Arbury Court. Yeah, you, have, you, you were saying that you have a channel yeah, too. Yeah, but no, I'm just trying to remember what it was called. Uh, it's on Rumble, not on Yeah, but what YouTube. was the name of it? It was Interesting Times. That was it, yes. Hello there, hello. When you come and meet a couple of people who want to meet you, of course. Camera. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, right. yeah. So it looks like we've got a lorry leaving. The lorry which drove in there at seven is reversing and leaving. I didn't say anything to be honest with you. Every time I want to say it looks like it's over, I fear that something might spring out again. But that lorry is definitely leaving. That's good. Wowzers trousers. They're gone, aren't they? What do you think about that? They're gone. They're going, aren't they? They're taking the forklift. Okay. There you go. Congratulations, everybody. Are they going? You did it. Yeah. How amazing is that? Bring you a chair. No, darling. Yes. I mean, it's a shame Sheridan's not here. I would have bought her a drink.